Cabinet Minister and MLA of Clearyard Government Shilla stated on Thursday that it is too early to comment on the arrival of a railway line into East Janta Hills as he emphasized that if the development is for the benefit of the people, he is not against it. However, if it does not serve any purpose for the people, then he is against it. In contrast, Cabinet Minister Kamingwa Nombon expressed support for introducing railway lines in Janta Hills, anticipating positive impacts on the region's populace. Shala underlined that all legislators, including himself, are dedicated to serving the best interests of the people. Shala asserted that in any decisions regarding the railway project, implementation in East Jantia would only proceed with the consent of the local residents. He disclosed that preliminary discussions were held with stakeholders and a public meeting is scheduled to gather community opinion on the matter. Ultimately, Shilla emphasized that the government's cause of action would align with the wishes of the people, either by implementing the railway projects, if widely accepted, or by respecting the community's decision if they choose otherwise. Notably, Meghalaya government has recently taken initiative in the potential introduction of railway connectivity in East Janta Hills district. Nevertheless, various pressure groups have consistently voiced their positions to the idea of railways in any area of Khasi Janthia region, emphasizing the necessity for a robust influx control mechanism such as the Inner Line Permit, ILP. Uh, for me, neither I'm against or for. If any department, I mean development for our state, if that is for the benefits of our people, so I am for that. If that development is not will not uh, save the purpose or the requirement of our people so i'm against for that i believe that not only me all the legislators are for that because we are here for the public and we are here to save for them so i feel that to comment whether the railway is good or bad is too early because why i say that as of now we have not seen or what is uh, especially in Meghalaya, we have not experienced so, but for this, what I feel, like has been mentioned to our friends whenever we get a chance to discuss, I said, don't judge too early or don't judge without knowing anything. Because I remember there uh, one friend of mine, he's asking me, I'm opposed to this uh, railway. I asked him, what is the reason? He said, no, I'm opposed to this because it's not good. I asked him, what is the reason? He didn't have any reason. All I request and I want my people, especially from East Jain Hills, whenever we are for any project, we have to know at least a basic knowledge about it and what is the benefit about it. If we are against or so, the same thing needs to be applied that what is the, uh, you know, the problem will come and then what is our losses by having the train. If, you know, if something is uh, benefited the people, and then just for my personal, I'll be against, that should not be happen. So I believe that this time, <clears throat> any project, even the railway in East India, if it comes, I believe it will come with the concern of the people of East India Hills, at the same time, with a profit for the people of East India Hills and the state as a whole. So for this, we will have, a, as of now, we have verbally discussed with a few friends, especially the stakeholders. So they are keen to, with the concern of the uh, some uh, representative that we will have a meeting where we'll ask the concern of the people if they are for the railway then we will we'll ask the chief minister to implement it if all the peoples are against it then we have to go against that because in the end the first uh, direct benefits will be to the people of East Jade Hills or the direct effect will be to the people of East Jade Hills. So the concern of people of East Jade Hills is very much important.